Okay, let's talk about how to make your wild gears easier to read. So they come out of the package like this. They've got engraving on them for all the numbers and letters. It's nice and bold. If you're not on white paper, it's super easy to read. Unfortunately, a lot of art's done on white paper. So let's talk about how to add some ink to this engraving. It's really simple. Um, it's an engraving because the laser cutter just zaps off a little bit of the surface of the acrylic and makes it all frosted. That means it's a little rougher, it feels a little sandblasted, um, and it takes ink really well. So as you can see, I've inked this one a little bit to start with, and it's just as easy as you wish it would be. Uh, I'm going to use a Sharpie. You can take this off also. It comes off of the smooth acrylic faster and better than it'll come off the... Uh, lettered parts, and you can sort of really carefully color it all in, and that's great, but it's going to slip a bit. So you can also just kind of scoosh over the whole area and wipe it off. I literally just use my thumb. Um, that gets it all clean, and you know, it, it's not looking quite as dark as I want, but so let's just give that a second to dry, and then we're just going to go over it again. And if you don't want to get your fingers inky, you can use a cloth for this or a paper towel or what have you. And you're just wiping softly because you don't want to get down into the engrave. Oops, too much ink on that finger. Um, there we go. And now it's super easy to read. And you can use any sort of felt you want with this. It doesn't have to be a Sharpie. A felt tip will work a lot better than something else. I haven't actually tried this with like a ballpoint. I think the ink would be different and I think it would be really hard to get the ballpoint to dispense what you want. So we've just got, you know, a green felt tip here. We're going to get into that lettering. And if you've gone over it once and it feels like the letter's not quite as crisp as you want, really try and get into the corners of the depth here. Um, and that'll make the number feel really crisp. So looking for little gaps, coloring it in. It's pretty all right, pretty readable, but little, little janky. So there we go, just a little wipe and it's nice and crisp looking. And I do have some ink on my finger now that I gotta wash off, but that's, that's the technique I like because I don't wanna hold more tools than I have to in my hands. All right, and we're just gonna put some ink on here because also when I'm working with stuff, I like to just mark the teeth I'm working with um, so that it's really easy for me to see the alignment if it's something I have to pay attention to. And that, that comes off. So I've just got a little cloth here. Um, you can use whatever sort of cloth you want. And this is just a little rubbing alcohol dispenser I have. So I've made my cloth just a little bit wet. Um, and you see the black on the non-engraved spots just came off so fast I didn't have a chance to point out the tooth mark I'd put on there. And it's just a little bit of a scrub. It's just lifting the ink. Um, and you can see how much pigment your ink has. And so that's that's a lot lighter now. And yeah, you know, with the green, I think it would be hard for me to get every ghost of the green out of there. But like at this point, if I want to put another color over it, it's not gonna get in the way. Um yeah, so it's it, you can't get all of the ink out of the engrave. But if you're worried about just keeping your gears in general clean, that's easy. Anyway, this is a great way to make your gears more, the lettering in your gears more visible.